is coming. Wow. How you doing? I'm good. Great to have you here. Thank you. This is, in a way, just kind of a warm-up for you tonight, isn't it? Well, I have a big announcement to make. OK. Um, you've seen a lot of very, I'll say, important people making announcements on late-night shows about they're entering a race. Or just, so tonight is mm -hmm. because, you know, I love being here. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I will be uh, the guest announcer tomorrow night for the Laker Clipper game. The entire game. I presume you'll be on the Clippers side of the broadcast since you are a yes, Clippers I'm fan. Yes, I'm a Clipper fan. Yes. Uh, and I will. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just scold the audience right yeah. here. It's mean to boo Clippers fans. They've yeah. been through a lot, okay? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, a real lot. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so I'm Ralph Lawler, who's their great announcer. A legendary broadcaster. 40 years is retiring. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that Ralph was retiring, I've known him all of his time, I thought he needs a farewell tour. Mm -hmm. So I volunteered to, to do a game. He's 80 years old, Ralph, uh, right? Well, the Clippers will age you. <laughs> and, uh, and so we're doing the entire game tomorrow night. Does Ralph know you're doing the game, or you just slide in next to him and start talking? No, no, we've been, we've been uh, talking and uh, coming up with things. You know, he has his own catchphrases that he he's does. done. He does. Oh, me, oh, my. Right. Which sounds like a character from, like, a Lucy episode, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, me, oh, my, Miss McGillicuddy. <laughs> That's probably where he got it. Yeah. And he yells, uh, bingo. Yeah. Which, with my relatives, is like saying Alexa. They suddenly wake up. <laughs> <laughs> B-57. <laughs> Bonk. Do I get the Tupperware? <laughs> yeah, so, I, so I'm coming up with my own... Are you? Oh, you have your own catchphrases. Well, there's a couple little. Uh, I'll oh, try them out. Test bit. them out. Yeah, Big let's see. Slam what... dunk, and I will yell. That'll bring the Taliban to the table. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's um. Uh, all, well, I wouldn't say it's timely, but it's it's you know it's political. It's uh, got an edge. There's a hard drive to the table. Prince Philip will be jealous about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Brings in a whole new crowd. Yeah. yeah. You know, need some some loving up. Yes. Okay. Well, I, you know, you try them out. I, by the way, did this with Ralph Lawler once on the radio on a little AM radio station. In like 1996, somebody thought it, had the bright idea to pair me with Ralph, and he hated me. How could he hate you? Oh, easy. He's every the sweetest man. What did you say to him, Jimmy? I didn't say anything to him, but every t I didn't wait for them to make shots. Every time anyone took a shot, I yelled bingo, and it oh. was getting him angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also I think you don't I, want to do that. You I might have called that. the coach of the Clippers, Bill Fitch. Phil bitch, um, yeah. accidentally. I get it. A couple of times. I get it. So I get why <laughs> you was slightly annoyed. I won't. This is like, for you, this is the most fun. Because you well, love sports. You I love do, and Clippers. I get to do, over the years, I've done some fun things. You have. Can I show a picture here? You mind? Of yeah. Fun, one okay, of the so fun this things? was the most fun ever. Okay. The day before my 60th birthday, which is weird because on my IMDb page, I'm 48. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just shows how much range you have, yeah. really. Yeah. And uh, the Yankees signed me to a one-day contract. The and, greatest, and right? I was the DH, the designated Hebrew, against the <laughs> against the, the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> I was the leadoff man, and I was never more nervous in my life. I mean, I was a good baseball player, but still, and now I'm 59 years old. Yeah. And just getting a cup. On, I tore a hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said, see how I do that. <laughs> and so here's, this is right before I'm going to make my major league debut with a great Hall of Famer to be next year, Derek Jeter. Look at the look on my face as Derek is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's about to say, way to go. He had this little uh, superstitious thing about tapping guys on the head. Yeah. And if there was a reverse shot, and you saw me from behind, I would have been in trouble. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like... I was that nervous. Who did you hit against? Do you remember? Paul Mahalam. Oh, uh, wow, you do remember, yeah, huh? Oh, you don't forget that. Yeah. You know, uh, though in about two years, I probably will. How did it do? Uh, How'd you I, do? I did. How'd well, the first pitch was um, outside. I didn't see it, but it sounded outside. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the second pitch, I hit. I hit a shot down a right field line. It was just foul. Oh. And somebody in the stands yelled, double! <laughs> and I was petrified, because if I had to run a second, I'd have to stop twice to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then it, that's, uh, that's one and one. Then it throws two balls in a row, two on, three one. 
So I'm this far from first base, you know, just like my prom. <laughs> and he throws me two cutters, 90 miles an hour, oh. and, and I struck out. But the crowd gave me a standing ovation, and A-Rod, bless his heart, calls timeout and gets the ball that I struck out with. And I stopped the game. It's the first time in the history of baseball to give the ball to a guy who struck out. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you still have the ball. I also do. So, so now, I mean, it was the, it was the thrill of a lifetime. Yeah. It, was, it was ridiculously great, because you dream about it your whole life. So now I'm in the dugout, and it's like, wow, that really happened. And, 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 and now I'm sitting with Yogi Berra and, and Reggie Jackson and Ron Guidry, and an official from the Yankees goes, uh, Mr. Steinbrenner would like to see you. So, okay, so I go up to Mr. Steinbrenner's office and he's sitting behind the desk, uh, very godfatherly-like. Sit down, kid. <laughs> yes, sir, now he made the whole thing happen. Right. Right, so I sit down across him. Did you have fun? I said, George, it was amazing. Good, because I just traded you for Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> 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 wow, that's yeah. pretty good. Seinfeld and a Porsche. That was the deal. <laughs> what What is your prized possession sports-wise? Do you have one item, like, in your collection that yeah. you love more than anything? Yeah. Um, there's a chair mm -hmm. that from the original Yankee Stadium. So it's from 1920-something. And so I, when they tore the stadium down, uh, I got one of these chairs. Mm -hmm. And Mickey Mantle signed it to me, who I had become very friendly with uh, over time. And it says, um, Billy, wish you were still sitting here and I was still playing. Oh, and it's, wow. it's, it's remarkable. Wow. A and That's the other great. thing I have, uh, it's true, is uh, Joe Torrey's cup. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know you have it? Yeah, he gave it to me. He did, yes. Yeah. Mm. And it's autographed. At what? Uh, it's when... an old time metal cup from it... when he played with the Milwaukee Braves. And, yeah. For real? They yeah, made yeah, him yeah. out of metal? I'll take a picture of it and you'll, you'll show it, uh, you can show it tomorrow night. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. You can eat poi out of it. I mean, it's... <laughs> well, that sounds like a hell of a dinner. Yeah. Billy Crystal is yeah. here. His movie is called <laughs> Undogether. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.